Hey guys, Matt Wilson, Ray Allen Manufacturing. We're gonna do just a real quick video for you, down and dirty, how to measure a dog. There's a couple different ways to measure kind of like neck um, and body. We have charts online, but a good video for you guys is always nice uh, so you can watch. Um, I left the harness on the dog. Uh, the reason why I did that is so you can kind of see where it sits. Um, and those are really the measurement points. The first big one is thinking that, you know, from your back of um, like between your shoulder blades to your uh, sternum right here is kind of where you want to measure. So, you know, you go from that back part and you go all the way around, you go down to where that you can feel because, you know, dogs have that sternum bump right there, down to that sternum bump and back up around a good measurement. If you do not have soft tape, an, a good idea for this, take a piece of string, take a shoelace, take whatever you want and measure it and measure it around and then lay it flat and use a tape measure in order to measure that uh, circumference. Then you wanna do behind the front legs, you know, right where that elbow is, you wanna go on that deepest part of that chest and measure straight up and all the way around. And then you wanna take that last rib right before it goes into the soft part of the stomach where you see that kind of big dip right here, and you're gonna measure that area. And then you're gonna find those are the measurements for your dog. I usually suggest not to around your dog, I, you know, make it to where it's snug, but it's not tight and it's not loose. You want kind of that middle ground because you want the you want the harness to be able to sit there. All of our harnesses are adjustable for that reason. When it comes to measuring a collar, uh, you want to measure. You know, a dog's neck is like a cone, shortest part on top, biggest part on the bottom. So you want to get measurements kind of every inch or so all the way up. You'll have about three or four depending on the dog. So you want to measure at the bottom part of that, you know, and that's a 19 or a 20. And then you want to go up and that's an 18. If you're measuring for a dominant dog collar from Raider Canine, the big thing is it's up right behind the ears. You'll actually feel the slot that it should fit in. And you're going to measure there. A lot of people, when they get dominant dog collars, they order, you know, what their collar size is. And then they got three or four inches hanging out there, which is not what a dominant dog collar is for. It's supposed to be snug, up, high, and tight. So when you get good measurements on a dog, that means the gear is going to fit properly, just like when you measure yourself or you're wearing clothes that are fitted for you. We want things like this to fit like a glove. If anybody's ever backpacked or wore the wrong size shoes or anything like that, you know what a problem that is and you don't want to do that to your dog. So measure your dog correctly, get the correct gear from rayallen.com because we want to make sure that your dog is measured for it. It's, it's a lot better for, you know, if you have to return it and size it, obviously we're going to do that, but it's a lot better if you do it the first time and you do it right the first time. All right. So that's how to measure a dog. Those three places, those three places, and it's literally that easy, and we'll uh, get you the right equipment for you. So thanks, guys. Have a good day.